Okay, on this example, we're going to derive the linear Fahrenheit to Celsius conversion formula from the fact that 32 degrees Fahrenheit equals 0 degrees Celsius and 212 degrees Fahrenheit equals 100 degrees Celsius. Now, we could do this problem by using Excel, which I'll show at the end, but since it's just two points, if you only have two points, you can solve the problem by hand. Now, I'm going to set these problems up Fahrenheit comma Celsius, like X comma Y, and I'm going to let the Celsius be the Y part of it because I need to go from Fahrenheit to Celsius. It says Fahrenheit to Celsius conversion for us. So from this is the X and this is the Y. So 32 comma zero is one point from the fact that 32 degrees Fahrenheit equals zero degrees Celsius. And the other point is 212 comma zero from the fact that 212 degrees Fahrenheit equals 100 degrees Celsius. Now we got our two points and we need to calculate the slope. The slope is rise over run. And that means that we need to take uh, one of the Y values and subtract off the other and then take the corresponding X values and subtract them. So if I subtract this Y value minus that Y value, okay, zero minus 100, then I have to do this X value minus this X value, 32 minus 212. I could have also done it in the opposite order, 100 minus zero over 212 minus 32. Now when I do that, I'll get negative 180, sorry, negative 100 over negative 180, and that's just from subtracting right here. Now, if I would have done it in the opposite order, I would have had 100 over 180. But either way, two negatives give you a positive, or if they both would have been positive, I get a positive. Now, these reduce down to 5 ninths because 20 goes in 105 times and 20 goes in 180 nine times, and two negatives make a positive, so it's 5 ninths, or as a decimal, 0.5 bar, the bar meaning that it uh, goes on forever, the decimal, if you want to write it as a decimal. Okay, so now we got the slope uh, in the slope intercept form, and now all we need to do is get the y intercept. So I can substitute the 5 ninths in for where the slope is, and now I need to substitute a point in to get the y intercept. Well, you can substitute at either point you want to. This seems like the easier point to substitute in, 32 comma 0. So 32 I'm going to substitute in for x, and the 0 I'm going to substitute in for y. So that would give me 0 equals 5 ninths times the x, 32, plus the y-intercept. Now I just need to solve it for the y-intercept. So taking this 5 ninths times 32 to the other side, that's going to change its sign, and I get the y-intercept is equal to negative 5 ninths times 32. So the equation is y equals 5 ninths x minus 5 ninths times 32. And that's a fine answer, or you could factor out the 5 ninths out of this, and you'd be left with y equals 5 ninths times the quantity, x minus 32, because there's a common factor of 5 ninths we can factor out. So that would actually uh, be the uh, Fahrenheit to Celsius, because x played the role of Fahrenheit, and y played the role of Celsius. So that would be the answer right there. Now, if you wanted the decimal approximation, well, 5 ninths is the same as 0.5 bar, so you could take that 0.5 bar, which is you know 0.5 repeating, times the f, which gives you 0.5 f or 0.5 repeating x, and the 5 ninths times the minus 32 is actually 17.7 bar. So that would be the same answer to the problem. Now, the questions that come up on this is what does the slope mean? Okay, well, the slope is 0.5 bar or 5 ninths. And that means, if we think of it in terms of this fraction right here, this is your rise and this is your run. And this means that for every uh, 5 degrees that we go up in Celsius, because Celsius is playing the role of Y, and Y is on the top. So for every 5 degrees that a temperature goes up in Celsius, that's the same as going up 9 degrees Fahrenheit. And uh, that would be a good way of thinking of it. The Y-intercept, let's think of however you like to think of the uh, Y-intercept. It's probably easier if we just distribute it through, because then we have the Y-intercept right here, which is negative 17.7 bar. And the coordinates of the y-intercept are really 0, comma, negative 17.7. And that means, again, the 0, or the first part, the x part, is the Fahrenheit. So at 0 degrees Fahrenheit, it's the same as negative 17.7, repeating, degrees Celsius. Okay. Now, what Fahrenheit temperature will equal 0 degrees Celsius? Okay. What Fahrenheit temperature will equal 0 degrees Celsius is actually answers the question of what is the x-intercept. Uh, it, when the uh, zero degrees Celsius is when the y value is down to zero, and when the y value is down to zero, 
then that is going to be an x-intercept. And the x-intercept, you can find an x-intercept by putting 0 in for y. And if I put 0 in for y here and solve it, I would add the 17.7 and divide by, or actually 17.7 .7 bar, carry a lot of 7s, and divide it by the 0.5 bar, and you would end up with the uh, uh, x-intercept of 32. And it's actually 32 comma 0. Again, this is Fahrenheit, this is Celsius. So in other words, 32 degrees Fahrenheit is equal to 0 degrees Celsius. The correlation coefficient is 1 because the line going through these uh, goes through that line exactly. And you could uh, graph this on Excel on the linear sheet. And we have two points. One is 0, 32. And the other one is 100, 212. And when you put those in, uh, you get the, uh, well, actually, they were backwards from that. Let's see, 32, it was 32 comma 0. And the other point was 212 comma 100. There's how the points were. And there's the equation right there. There's your 0.5 or 5 ninths. And there's your negative 17.7 right there. So your, your equation is right there. And if you wanted to see those in fraction form, we could right mouse click on it and format the cell so that it's a fraction. And let's see, fraction here. And uh, we could go clear up to three digits if we needed it, but it's 5 ninths. And that fraction right there, if you wanted to see it as a fraction, is, let's go to fraction. And that fraction is actually negative 17 and 7 ninths if we really wanted it like that. So that's that example right there.